I want to start with breaking news, and that is the note that you have uh, revealed from your doctor, which says you are no longer considered a transmission risk. Does this suggest you no longer have COVID, sir? Yes, and uh, not only that, it seems like I'm immune, so I can go uh, way out of a basement, which I would have done anyway, and which I did, because you have to run a country. You have to get out of the basement, and uh, it looks like I'm immune for, I don't know, maybe a long time, or maybe a short time. It could be a lifetime. Nobody really knows, but I'm immune. So uh, so the uh, president is in very good shape to fight the battle. Mr. President, I want you to... I want you to answer your critics because your critics are uh, going uh, really uh, betting upset about your event at the White House yesterday, about your rally that you're planning tomorrow. They say it is still too soon for you to be around people and to be going out, that you could still spread COVID. What are you doing in terms of ensuring that everyone will be safe at your rally in Florida this week, tomorrow? Well, the doctors, the White House doctors, as you know, are the best. And uh, they said uh, totally free of spreading. There's no spread. And it wasn't yesterday either. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, I was on a balcony. The closest person was probably a couple of hundred feet away. And they were down in, on grass. Uh, there was nobody even close to me yesterday. But even yesterday, I knew I was uh, free. I beat this uh, crazy, horrible China virus. And... It also gives you immunity. I mean, it does give you immunity. Even the uh, the people that just cannot accept anything. I mean, they just don't want to accept anything. No. So my goodness, was that irresponsible from Donald Trump? That was him on Fox News in an interview, basically saying he's quote unquote immune to COVID-19 to the coronavirus. But that is not true. In no way is that true. One, there is still far too much uncertainty, vagueness about Donald Trump, his treatment and his progress through that treatment. There was a report last night saying that according to some CDC metrics, it was now safe for him to resume public events. But there were multiple doctors on social media disagreeing with that, saying that if you reference it with previous your health statements from Trump's Dr. Conley, then Trump actually isn't meeting all of the requirements to resume full public events based on his own health, but also potential contagion. And then you add to that the obvious fact that some people have gotten COVID more than once. It seems to be rare But it's not a guarantee that getting it once makes you immune. It's not like chicken pox and things like that, where we have a general idea that in in the vast majority of cases, you know, if you get it as a child, you might not get it as an adult, like that sort of illness. That is not confirmed with COVID. We do not have that down. So to suggest that someone who gets it Even if they do follow all of the protocols and isolate, you know, for the two weeks or whatever it is, and then resume your normal activity that they're quote unquote immune just isn't true. It isn't true. And it should not be said by the president. And he tries to weasel word around this a little bit by saying, look, you know, I am I'm I'm, I'm immune maybe for a little bit, maybe for a lot, maybe for a lifetime, but I know I'm immune now. Well, that's not true. That's not true. There's no scientific basis that immunity is a guarantee with this illness. And again, we have to underline this. Every time there's an interview with Trump or with some of his officials, there's a question asked about when did you last test negative for COVID? When did you last test negative? Not when did you last test with less of it? Not then, not when was the last time that your evaluation showed you improving? When was the last time you tested negative with COVID? And he has not answered the question and his people have not answered the question. And so the, the only rational explanation for why he's not answering that, which is a very straightforward one. And Trump has been willing to talk about his health, his treatments, and his progress. It's not like he's been quiet on the whole shebang, right? The reality is he's trying to hide it because he knows he's still positive. 
Maybe he's on the mend. Maybe he's a few days away, but he's still not testing negative. And that's a real challenge for him because he wants to start doing events. But then the headline will clearly be Donald Trump still positive doing public events around people. And that's what we saw this weekend with the Candace Owens, you know, Blexit rally at the White House lawn. You know, with a bunch of people, more masks than usual, but not fully masked and and obviously not following social distancing there with a president that has not tested positive. Trump might have been distanced on his balcony, but as was reported on Fox News yesterday, Trump met with some of the people from that rally, meaning that he wasn't necessarily distancing. And of course, you know, while he might be distanced from the participants, there's no guarantee that in the course of movement through the White House and through all of that, that he distanced from staff and and, 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 and his aides and things like that. We, we can't necessarily say that he didn't distance at all, but there's no sense that he's doing whatever he, any reasonable person should do to distance, which should be to st- confine themselves to their private quarters, you know, to the presidential apartment during this period and conducting all of his business via telephone or internet or what have you, which is what anyone else in his situation would be expected to do and would have, you know, be demanded to do. This is a man that in his actions and in his words spread so much dangerous disinformation because in effect, what he's doing is he's telling people with these, with these claims about treatment. Oh, that we have, we have a cure. Well, we don't. Oh, this is a miracle thing. Well, we don't know that yet. It's experimental. I want everyone to get this care. Don't let it run your life. Well, no, the man fights Medicare for all. He fights universal health care. And this should run your life because it's very dangerous, especially for people that are like Donald Trump. And this is a man that, you know, is trying to, to say, oh, I'm immune now. Maybe signaling the people that have gotten it. Oh, well, I'm immune too. But not necessarily. One, there's no full understandable rock hard data yet about if you are immune or certainly if you're not able to pass it on to others still. So even if you're immune, it might still be the case that you could get it and, and then, and then respread it. You might be immune or you might not show symptoms, but that doesn't apply to other people around you. Donald Trump needs to realize, I don't think he will, but he should need to realize that what he said will be heard by millions, hundreds of millions. And some of those people will believe him. And when he says things like this, he really does put lives at risk. 